today we are going to talk about the remaining type of fact tables accumulating snapshot fact and factless fact to start with accumulating snapshot fact it is basically a fact where the data gets updated over the period of time it usually shows the complete journey of the data data are updated or overwritten on the period of time in a factless fact basically there are no additive facts it is often required for missed out and negative cases we will deep dive into one of the example let's discuss accumulating snapshot fact consider we have an orders fact where we have informations like order date order id quantity total pack date ship date deliver date and update date now consider on 10th jan we got a record where we have order date as 2023 order id ord 001 quantity 10 total 2000 and since the order is not packed shipped or delivered all three columns are null the update is on the same date now on 11th jan the order is packed so we will have another record this three information will remain same here we will have 2023-01-11 and this two will still remain null so this information will get updated in the order fact updated or this information will get overwritten in the order fact so this is the current status on 11th jan now consider on 12th jan the order gets shipped the order date will still remain 10 this all information will remain same this will again remain same but here the date will be populated as 12th jan because of ship date and the delivered is will still null 2023-01 this will be 12. now on 13th jan when the orders get delivered it would be 2023-01-10 this all three information will remain same this would be 2023-01-13 this would be 2023-01-13 now if you see we are capturing the event complete journey so this would be the latest record in the fact which will have the events complete journey the order events complete journey starting from order date till the deliver date for a factless fact consider we have a attendance fact where we have student class teacher and date dimensions wherein the attendance are recorded into the fact table now if you see the current example you will find there are no measures in this fact so only the surrogate keys are populated so the student surrogate key is populated from student dimension the class surrogate key is populated from class the teacher surrogate key from teacher dimension and date there is no measure in this fact that is why this fact is called factless fact now this type of facts can be used for considering uh, cases which are missed out so we can just take out the attendance of the student similarly if you see promotions now if you take out promotions from the sales fact you will miss out the promotion of the products which are not sold so ideally we create a fact which contains the dis promotions from the products only so in that case you will get the promotions for all the products you will not miss out anything 